don't know. But whoever came here was looking for something. The place has been ransacked. I'm going to clean up. I'll be back in a minute. Alright. Okay, I'll take a look around. Great. More, <coughs> More fucking dead people. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hoped that Marquez was all right. Let's see. The chair had been knocked over in the fight. But there was something glinting underneath. It was Marquez's medallion. <gasps> There'd clearly been a struggle. Marquez must have put up quite a fight. I spotted something in the mess. It was Marquez's family photo. Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left the photo behind. The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions. It was one of the photographs that Nico had taken during the robbery. It showed a section of La Maledicción. Marquez had written on it. Interesting. Marquez had scribbled the word Sans across the photograph. I wonder what he meant. Marquez had circled one of the figures and written Judas. I wondered if he was identifying him as Judas Iscariot. Back in Bible class, Judas was definitely one of the bad guys. Marquez had circled one of the figures in the tower and identified her as Magdalena. That had to mean Mary Magdalene. What could this all mean? Hey, Josh, you find anything? Marquez's medallion. And one of your photos of the robbery. Marquez scribbled all over it. I think he was trying to work something out in the painting. Simeon must have been right. The painting is some kind of map. We should... Oh, boy. Hold on. My phone. Hello? Oui? This is Inspector Navet. Of course. I am looking for the American, Monsieur Stobart. Are you with him? Yes, he's right here. Uh, mon Dieu, stay calm, madame. Where exactly are you? In my neighbor's apartment. But why do you... Do not worry. I am just moments away. Be very careful. He is armed and highly dangerous. No, I'm not. But he seems so charming. <laughs> me, madame. The leopard never changes his strat. Really? <laughs> that was Nave. You're in big trouble. Uh -huh. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, Nave's on his way, and he'll be here any moment. God damn it. He's right we here have now. To go, Nico, now. Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Oh, Fleur? She's here too. That's another character. From, like, fucking uh, second game, actually. Ah, there you are. Right on time. Sorry, Flo, but we can't stop. Suit yourself. Damn it. Sergeant Moo is outside the door. He's talking to someone. Oh, no, it's Adam. Who? My neighbor. Ah, the pug lover with the trashed apartment. That's the one. Hey, Fleur. Great to see you again. You were expecting us? 30 more seconds and you would have been caught. Charged with the murder of a priest. Whoa. How do you know about that? News travels fast through the ether, Georges. Take this. What do I do with a ball of yarn? Bribe Moo with a nice Aaron sweater? You will find the way. Now, excuse me. I think it's time you planned your escape. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi, Adam. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my apartment. Oh, really? I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why, too. I'm George, by the way. Adam, I live in the apartment next to Nico. I know. I mean, how interesting. <laughs> 
Fleur, can I sit here for a while until the police let me back in? By all means. So what now? You take a look around. I'll see if there's a way to get past Moo. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's talk of these two. Son of Adam. Hey there, Adam. Oh, hey, George. What can I do for you? Do you know what's going on with the police? Uh, no. They wouldn't tell me. Good. I, I mean, strange. It's annoying. I'm really tired. It was a long drive. Oh, been anywhere interesting? I've just come back from a coin fair. It was mega. But well, that's fascinating. We have a lot of stuff to show. So, uh, tell me more about this coin fair. It's Europe's biggest. So much to see. I bet. Do you know Nico well? No, not really. Good. I mean, uh, good for you. What are you listening to? My meditation music. Crashing waves and trickling forest streams. Hmm. Say... So, what do you think of this coin? Oh my god, that's a platinum 12 ruble. It is? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, it's going to be a rough day, Adam. Why don't you keep the coin? Are you serious? I'll get my pal Stefan to value it. His coin shop's just around the corner. Hey, maybe you could use the money to redecorate your apartment. But it doesn't need redecorating. That's a matter of opinion. That got rid of him. Now then. Let's see. I didn't want to mess with Adam's volume setting. The lid wouldn't open while the disc was playing. Okay. I stopped the disc. Ocean dreamscapes. Just what I needed with the day I was having. Those might come in handy. Right. Now then. Go ahead, George. Take a few. Thanks. Hey, Fleur, how's it going? Sorry to bust in on you like this, Fleur. Don't worry, George. I knew you were coming. You did? Uh, so what else do you know? There's a 36% chance of rain. Yeah, I guess. You've known Nico a while. What flowers does she like? Yellow. No, wait. Yes. Yellow, definitely. That's nice to know. Since we now know what the answer to the flower thing is. Uh... Why not? It's all about the yarn. Why do I need the yarn, Fleur? What do you want? The long story or the short story? Short. Because you do. <laughs> okay, good enough. Uh, how about... How about our cockroach buddy? I have this matchbox. Anything peculiar about it? It has a cockroach inside. Yeah. He's called Trevor. Oh my god. He prefers the name Boris, you know. <laughs> well, I think you'll find that's his patronymic. Neat. Let's go these boxes. There were boxes stacked along the wall. They were all labeled. Florist's foam. Flower food. Ribbon. Pee-pee. What? Bouquet labels. Uh... Pee -pee? Yeah. <laughs> My curiosity was aroused. Yeah. What the it was fuck? a plastic statue. I'll take pee pee. Careful with that. It's just coming. Special order. What is it? A replica mannequin piece. 
Fill it with water, pop in some batteries, and watch it go tinkle. Hmm, very tasteful. You know what? I got a plan. Flirt, do you mind if I change the music? Good idea. The sound of lapping waves was affecting Moo, but I was going to need something more to open the floodgates. <laughs> now, time for the mannequin piss. I placed the statue in the trolley. Let's add in some water. Slancha, wee man. Slancha. And now let's add in the batteries. A jaunty series of LEDs lit up around the figure. There we go. I gave the trolley a push. Fleur certainly kept her bearings well greased. <laughs> okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's go, Nico. Where? To see Bijou. She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I want the truth. So you're telling me that Bijou and Ops were having an affair? Yeah, so... She's got some explaining to do. Mm -hmm. Bijou, I need to talk to you. Yep. No, it really can't. Let's go. He seems to be relaxing pretty well. In the daylight, and without the fog of incense, the apartment looked even weirder. Really? George, how delightful to see you. May I present my friend Nico? George and I go way back. Oh, really? Well, don't worry, my dear. I won't steal him, though he is rather a cutie. <clears throat> uh, Bijou, we're here to clear up a few points, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, How Bijou. are you, Bijou? I have the teeniest of headaches, Cherie. It always happens when I sleep in the afternoon. Oh. I figured it was the champagne before the nap that had done the damage. Yep. I need you to be honest with me, Bijou. Listen, about the Hobbs. Hobbs appears to know you very well. I saw a sketch of you in his portfolio. Must have been a study for a painting. Are you sure there's nothing else? Quite sure. Really now? Did you know that the provenance was fake? For la malediccio? I had no idea. Lane said you had him approve it. Silly who oh, is getting confused again. Really? Then what's this? Here are your keys back, Bijou. When did I give you those? Oh, I can't think today. Uh, let's see. How about this? I believe this is for you. A diamond ring? What has that to do with me? A gift for you. From Henri. Henri bought me so many expensive things. You never did it to. This is a note from Hobbs that I found in your safe. How did you get access to that? How dare you? Bijou, you gave me the keys. You took them back a minute ago. I did? Oh, my head. I don't remember. We didn't do anything else, did we, Georges? The note is addressed to you. So Lane was telling the truth. 
You were in charge of the paperwork. Oh, so what if I was? That's not illegal? Really now? The note from Hobbs makes it quite clear that you knew him rather well. Oh, all right, I did. So, you lied to me. So you had the provenance made. You knew it was fake. I'm not admitting anything. Obviously. I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money so that he could buy you that ring. And maybe that's the reason he was shot. Nico. Whoa. No, Henri. She's right. Henri always felt he had to fight to keep me. Truth is, I love them both. Wilf and Henri. And now Henri is dead because of me. Yeah, you fucked up. Go ahead. Ask your questions. I promise I will tell the truth this time. I hope so. So, you and Hobbes are lovers? We have been ever since 75. Henri never knew about it. They were in a band together back then. So you were unfaithful to Henri right from the start. It was never cheating. I love them both. So you had Hobbes fake the provenance so that Lane would approve it for the insurance? <coughs> Wilf passed it to me, and I persuaded Lane to sign it. He never knew it was a fake. Wilf is brilliant at what he does. How about Madovsky? So what was Madovsky's role in all this? It was all his idea. He'd had an offer on La Maledictio from someone. Really? So Wilf put Medovsky in touch with me and Henri. He wanted to cash in on both the sale and the insurance. He set up the security company to deal with the robbery. I've been such a fool. Henri was never supposed to die. I know you didn't mean for that to happen. Wilf called me yesterday trying to comfort me. He said he would take care of me, that he had plans. Really? Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked about a secret place. Something about the original being behind my behind. I didn't understand. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was here, and we danced together again. Such bliss. That must have been wonderful. Anyway, thanks again for your time, and... <clears throat> Nico, I think it's time we went to London. Yep. George, do you have something you need to tell me? Nope. No. Can't think of anything right now. Well, let's go. Shall we? Mm-hmm. In a seedy part. Very, very seedy, as you can see. So in the end, Hobbes was at the heart of the whole scam. All we have to do now is find the painting. Yeah, then we blow everything open and nail Madovsky. I get that front page story. And I get to clear my name, and keep my job. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic, George. Well, you know me, nothing I like more than a good conspiracy. Hold on a second. What's the matter? This chain. It's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break-in? Or maybe a breakout? Hobbs escaping from Lady Piermont? <laughs> <laughs> maybe. But this doesn't feel right. Yeah. Why is there a crowbar there? Hey, Nico, take a look at this. Hmm, do you think someone used it to force the gate? Possibly. But their loss is our gain. You never know when you're gonna need a crowbar. Yep. Now then, let me guess, knocking on the door will not do a damn thing, won't it?
One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. No Hobbs. Out cold, probably. Well, let's go ahead and wake him up, I guess. A blast on the horn had worked last time. Let's try climbing this pipe, shall we? Hey, Nico. This drain pipe looks climbable. Are you mad? Usually is. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Uh. Seagull problems, George? That's one nasty bird. Hey, Nico. Hey, Nico. What, Josh? Can you, uh... Do me a favor and honk the horn. No problem. Maybe I can use something on this now, like the crowbar. Be careful, Josh. <laughs> hey there, Nico. I'll come and let you in. Something isn't right. We'd better be careful. Well, we have the dust sheet Whoa. now. You better come and take a look at this. Oh boy. Mon Dieu. It's a Manet. Oh no, it's not. It's a Hobbes. In the style of Manet. Or, as the experts prefer to call it, a forged Manet. Mm-hmm. Hobbs isn't just a restorer, he's a full-blown forger. Oh, that must be... You. Oh, Hobbs boy. is good. You look very pretty. Mm. And <laughs> that's you. Uh... Oh my, you look very... Violated. <laughs> yes. Is that Lady Piermo? Oh, yes. God. Is she? Yep. Yeah. In your... Yeah. Oh! Oh, so all along we were just modeling for a forgery. A very... Forgery. Terrific, huh? I can add it to my murder rap. <laughs> yeah. Let's just pretend this never happened, okay? Yep. Oh, God. I did not need that image in my head, okay? Let's, uh, go to the balcony door. Locked. If Hobbs is home, he's behind this door. Well, we'll just have to break it down. I had a feeling the chain was going to be useful. What are you doing? <laughs> that should do the trick. Well, let's go in. So what now? Let's see what Hobbs keeps tucked away up here. So this is Hobbs's lair. Not exactly the penthouse suite, is it? 
I know this part. The game crashed here once upon a time. So I'm gonna save here. Right. Let's look at this abstract. This is a true masterpiece. A fake masterpiece, you mean? Yeah. Cupboard. Apart from some old pipe work, the cupboard was empty. Okay. Fine. Nico. What is it? Hobbs's answer phone, and he's got messages. Let's hear them. You have two messages. Message one. Hobbs, Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly, and I... It is a shame that you would like to be released from our agreement. It was mutually lucrative. But if that is your wish, I respect it. I shall send my men around to tie up and aid them. Take care, my friend. Message two. Hello, darling. It's Bishu. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I've spoken to that insurance man and his girlfriend and told them pretty much everything. I want to be with you, with you. but always mother, you know. Anyway, I can't possibly leave here until his name is cleared. I feel so guilty, darling. Do you think he knew about us? Do take care with that Russian, my love. Bon voyage, my love. You have no more messages. There we go. Okay. Wow. So Bijou knew about everything. At least she was faithful to Henri in the end. And what if Madovsky's guy got here first? What if Madovsky's guy is still here? Oh boy. Who knows what useful objects this cupboard might hold? Don't get too excited, Georges. Well, looky here. A useful bottle of Diet Cola. <laughs> you never know when you might need a Diet Cola. No, no, I'd rather not know. Wait, that looks familiar. Strange. Hey, Nico, come and take a look at this. This painting. There's something familiar about it. It's a woman's buttock shawl. Mm -hmm. I know that, but I recognize him. Know what? I think it's Bijou. I don't want to know how you know that, George. The paintings? But didn't she say the painting was hidden behind her behind? Exactly. So maybe. Damn it, it's screwed into the wall. Huh. Well, can we... That would be pointless. Okay. How about... I needed a better idea. Alright. Well, might as well. That worked. La Maledizio! We found it! Amazing! You're sure it's the real thing? Well, I'm no expert, but yeah. It must be. Look, in the middle. It's the same face that Hobbes drew on his sketch, and the same symbol cut into his forehead. He must have uncovered it when he was cleaning the painting. But I wonder why a tree was originally painted over it. Like Simeon said, hidden Gnostic secrets. We've got the painting, Nico, but there's got to be more to find in here. Mm -hmm. You're right. Once the police are involved, we won't get another chance. And we found a lot. So let's go forward to the next area, shall we?